What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from the coop. Ah, sunshine, humidity. As Uncle Jim, or as Corvette Jim says, hate it. <laughs> it's not really bad, it's just humid. It rained earlier, so I thought that I might end up doing the video today from the mobile lounge, but I did do some running around. Got some uh, ice. Ice coffee, ice, ice baby. I got the uh, classic caramel and English toffee flavorings mixed together. Pretty good. Before I get started, I want to make an announcement. <clears throat> Some of you guys that are presenters and possibly non-presenters that might have had uh, communication with <clears throat> Gordon Robinson. He's a non-presenter. He happens to be at his cottage where he gets no reception. Lucky him. <laughs> He's off the grid. He sent me pictures of the, the waterfront from where the cottage that he's staying and man, is it beautiful. I'm thinking about knocking on the door one day and say, look, here I am. <laughs> it's beautiful, but yeah, if you haven't, it's been a month, at least a month now. I've been texting him back and forth. We've been, we've been, we've become pretty good friends so far. And uh, <clears throat> we keep in touch with each other. He had just experienced a, uh, an accident a while back, a month or two on, in his truck. He just got his truck back a couple weeks ago. And the day that he was getting his truck back, a daggone uh, deer run out in front of him in the, in the rental car that he had. So it's all good. He's in good. He's good. No, no, no one was hurt during his accident. And he just been living large up at the cottage. So he got no reception. He texts me about once or twice a week, or I text him. We've been keeping in contact. So everything's good with him. Like I say, he's just off grid for now. He'll be back at some point. Him and I are trying to work something out for next month. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's where he is. If any of y'all been wondering why you haven't had comments on your videos. Cause I was wondering at first too, cause he comments on every video and almost every video I watch, I see him comment on that one also. So he's sub to a lot of you guys as well as with me. So I just wanted to put it out there that he's okay. He's just <laughs> living large, like I said, off the grid. So. Next person I want to do a shout out with. Some of you guys might know him, some of you might not. This is, is S1 Seifert. That's the way he's, his channel name, he's pretty cool. I enjoy his videos, he does silent videos. Calls himself Don Padre. He smokes a pipe and cigars and uh, He's been making videos for 10 years and he's got a low, low subscriber point. I don't think it bothers him. He just enjoys doing videos. If you watch one or two of his videos, you'll see that he's just careless, carefree, not necessarily careless, but carefree, just enjoys his uh, time smoking and having coffee or whatever, but he does silent videos and they're pretty cool. I enjoy watching them. <clears throat> so if you if you could go over and visit him, I say S1 Seifert, and I do believe his name Sam. He had a uh, video where I guess his band did the music in, for the video, or he used that 
song for the video that he that he made and when he listed the band members i saw his name at the bottom and i asked him if he was a drummer he said yeah so s1 seifert hopefully you'll get some sub love i don't know if you want it but you might be getting some anyway but uh oh yeah like i say it's hot the old forehead is kind of glad it's back as far as it is it's hot enough humid so i am smoking a fowin and i forget what line this is and it doesn't say it on it just says fowin 5166 i guess it's like an apple shape straight saddle bit reddish in color sandblast it's a beautiful pipe smokes well nine millimeter filter i have a uh savinelli balsa system not a balsa filter savinelli balsa system nine millimeter in it i prefer the balsa system over the uh, charcoal filter i always feel like my draw is constricted with the uh, charcoal filters maybe it's just a filter i did see this thing i'm, I'm going to order it i did see this thing that replaces a nine millimeter filter it's a metal about the same length as the as a filter but it's a coil so I'm gonna just like 13 bucks for it. I'm gonna order one or two of those and try them out. It says it replaces the the Fowen Vaughn Fowen the uh, filter. So I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you know how that works when I get one. If any of you have one, let me know how what you think of it. If you already have one and you use it. in this fowling apple shape is some rainier gold blend 71 good stuff i don't i don't detect any difference excuse me in the rainier gold or the Peter Heinrich Golden Sliced. They both come in the long, whoop, the long flake that's coiled up in the paint can. They both have almost word for word tin description. Just a little bit different, but they're made in the same blending house, Kohlholz and Kopp. So I'm assuming it's the same thing. Just one day is Rainier, the next day is Peter Heinrich. Cause I've taken the flakes out and put them side by side and almost put them back in the wrong tin because they look identical. Beautiful flakes. Once you break one up, it's destroyed. It just crumbles at that point. But if you uncoil it, it's about two inches by like 12, 14 inches. And it's like three, maybe four of them coiled up in the paint can. Comes in 100 gram tins. So yeah, I got the uh, the mobile lounge back yesterday. Sitting here, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get dinner. So I went and got dinner last night instead of cooking. We ate out, but take out. Then this morning, I lit me a cigar and jumped in there. And uh, I went to Lowe's, got some screws for my hinges and a nozzle for my water hose. Then I went over to this local grocery store called Aldi. Got some cinnamon rolls and some uh, blueberry muffins, chocolate croissants. My wife likes those. Got some of that stuff. 
gassed up. I had a little over a half tank, but for a half a tank of gas, I forget how many gallons, but it was just over half a tank. It was uh, 36.50. It used to be 20 bucks. Got home, realized I forgot ice. So of course I had to jump in the mobile lounge, run back out to the store, get some ice. Now we have ice coffee. In case you didn't notice in the beginning. Whoop. Yes. I'm a believer. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable pump day. I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, check in, let you guys know about these couple guys. Like I say, if you if you've not if you joined this video late and you uh, have not had any responses or comments from Gordon Robinson, he's living large. Don't worry about him. He's doing good. Just no reception. And then, like I say, check out my, my buddy Sam, uh, Steve at S1 Seifert. And uh, I guess that's all I got. So until next time, you know what to do. Stop them and puff them.